Bay Area is known to be the most expensive real estate market in the whole United States with average single family homes exceeding $1.5 million as of 2024. You may wonder, what is the most expensive Bay Area cities in terms of home prices? And the answer is Palo Alto. Wait, isn't it supposed to be Atherton? Well, I get it. It's true. Atherton is the most expensive zip code in the country because they are full of $10 million, $20 million mansions. But if you divide the price by square footage, Palo Alto is actually a little more expensive. So I'm not completely wrong here. Anyways, hello everyone. This is Boji here, your local Bay Area real estate expert, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to dive into one of the iconic place to live in all of California, Palo Alto. So what's the deal with Palo Alto? Why is it so expensive? And why would you even consider living here if you can afford it? Stick around because we're going to break it all down right now. Palo Alto is right in the middle of Silicon Valley, right between Mountain View and Menlo Park. This city is not just close to tech, it is the epicenter of innovation. We're talking about a place where Stanford University meets some of the biggest tech giants in the world. If you're in the tech industry, Palo Alto isn't just a place to live, it's the place to be. The city has a booming local economy and it's not just driven by tech. Sure, you've got Google, Facebook, and Apple just a short drive away, but there's also a thriving local business scenes and some top tier educational institutions such as Stanford University and Sophia University. Just to give you an idea, Stanford University is one of the best private universities in the world and the average professor's salary is $200,000 plus. Not only that, lots of Bay Area's big tech companies started out as student projects in Stanford or by Stanford grads, such as YouTube, Google, Yahoo, Cisco, HP, VMware, LinkedIn, Snapchat, Instagram, Sun Microsystem, you name it. These examples illustrate Stanford's unique ecosystem that fosters innovation and entrepreneurship, helping student projects grow into globally recognized companies. In other words, Stanford is the cradle of Silicon Valley's tech world. Companies may come and go, but as long as there's Stanford, the next Google, the next Tesla will be born right here again. This is, in my opinion, the main reason that keeps property values sky high around here. This is the place where people want to live, work, and invest. But it's not just about the economy. Palo Alto is synonymous with affluence and prestige. Drive around the city and you'll see some of the most luxurious homes in California tucked behind these iconic leafy streets. The city's reputation attracts not just tech mongols, but also wealthy individuals from around the world who are looking for elite and sophisticated place to call home. Some of these famous Current residents here include Mark Zuckerberg, Tim Cook, Larry Page, Larry Allison, Jensen Huang, and a bunch of ex 49 ers stars. Tons of celebrities, sports stars, well-known artists, and business and political leaders are from Palo Alto as well. Living in Palo Alto isn't just about owning a property. It's about being part of an exclusive community that values excellence, innovation, and a high standard of living. Downtown Palo Alto. Whether you're into dining, trendy cafes, or boutique shopping, downtown has it all. And moreover, there are a lot of tech startups in downtown area. And this spot is where the original Facebook's startup location is at. And for all of your outdoor enthusiasts, the city has some amazing parks and recreational areas. Plus, you're just a short drive from the coast and the mountains. Depending on your vibe, there's always something to do. The city of Palo Alto comes with many different neighborhoods. For the purpose of this video, I'll bucket them into three regions based on similarity, and they are North Palo Alto, Central Palo Alto, and South Palo Alto. North Palo Alto is everything to the north of Oregon Expressway and east of El Camino. It includes downtown, Crescent Park, Old Palo Alto, and Professorville. It's known as the prestigious hub, the cream of the cream of Palo Alto living. These neighborhoods are known for its historic homes, tree-lined streets, and of course, proximity to Stanford. 
you'll find homes with unique historic styles such as Victorian, Colonial Revival, Tudor homes. Although many homes here have historic status due to its significance and integrity, these neighborhoods are not designated historic neighborhoods, and therefore, not every home here will have building regulation restrictions. I've made another video talking about historic homes versus new construction homes. Definitely check out that video in my channel to know more about pros and cons of historic homes. Most homes here are big, and the bulk of them are going for five to ten million dollars, depending on the size and condition, averaging two thousand to two thousand two hundred dollars per square foot. Despite high prices, the rich historic fabric of North Palo Alto region makes it a highly desirable place for those who appreciate classic, well-preserved homes with a deep connection to Palo Alto's history. Central Palo Alto. This part of Palo Alto is everything east to El Camino and between Oregon Expressway and East Meadow Drive. Typical neighborhoods here are Midtown and Palo Verde. This area gave you a nice balance of suburban tranquility with easy access to downtown, the Stanford Shopping Center, Town and Country, Village Shopping Mall, and other happening places. It's perfect for families who want good schools and a strong community feel without being too far from the action. Homes here are pretty standard size for middle-class suburb neighborhoods with a mixture of modern and traditional homes. Home prices here average about $3.5 million. South Palo Alto, the up-and-coming area. So this is everywhere between the East Meadow Drive and San Antonio Road, as well as everything west to El Camino except the hills. It includes neighborhoods like Green Meadow, Fair Meadow, Green Acres, Barron Park, and other surrounding areas. Comparing to other parts of Palo Alto, South Palo Alto generally has more retail businesses and condos. There are also some exciting up-and-coming new developments in the area too. The famous Henry Gunn High School is in this area, and they are specially known for their rigorous academic environments and competitive student body. This area is more affordable compared to northern parts. Homes are modest in size with lots of Eichler homes. If you wonder what they are, check out my other video about Eichler homes, link in the description. The average single family home price here is around 3 million to 3.5 million, making it a very sought after areas of Palo Alto. There's also a small community of Palo Alto that goes into the hills of Santa Cruz Mountain. It's called the Palo Alto Hills. It's an exclusive community with private country club, golf clubs, which is very prestigious. All of these regions of Palo Alto have top-rated schools from elementary to high school. Palo Alto High and Henry Gunn High are well-known schools throughout the Bay Area. If education is important for you, then you can't go wrong here. All right, so why is Palo Alto so expensive? It boils down to three things, demand, scarcity, and prestige. Everyone wants to be here. There's not a lot of lands left to build on, and the city's reputation as a tech and education hub just keep the price climbing. This isn't just a place to live. It's an investment in your future, your family, and your lifestyle. So, what do you think about Palo Alto? Do you think it's worth the price? Would you live here? Comment down below and let me know. And hey, if you're thinking about making a move, don't forget to hit that subscribe button because I've got more tips and insights coming your way from my channel. Or even better, contact me and let's chat. Alright, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.